Ibarra situation with him getting transferred to Toronto, especially with Ibarra coming out. Uh, read the athletic article by uh, Felipe for the athletic uh, about Ibarra that says all about what Ibarra thinks there, and uh, he hates the move to Toronto. But the Ibarra move is very um, circumspect because... He's the only U-22 player we have that's done anything this season. So he's the only one that we could get anything for. And since Lopez, Eric Lopez is back, and Mascara is back from loan, and Sosa's another U-22, and Ibarra's U-22, and you can only have three. So because Bocanegra has completely mismanaged the roster over the past three seasons, and I don't think that's even debatable. Someone had to go. And the only guy that's done anything this season is Ibarra. So he had to leave. There's no one else wanted them. And we can't buy out another player contract because they already screwed up Joseph Martinez and had to buy him out. So they painted themselves into a corner and we had to lose a starter. But in all honesty, it's okay. I mean, Ibarra was an enforcer. Um, he was a, a just a destroyer number six out there. But he didn't cover a lot of ground. He, he had a lot of weaknesses. I liked to see him on the club. I liked what he did. But, um, you know, he, he did win his duels. But uh, uh, I think uh, Ozzy is a much better six than Ibarra. And the guy they're bringing in is a six. So... You know, getting rid of him, uh, we didn't really lose anything, quite frankly. And, and that's that's kind of harsh there, but um, it happens. Um, you know, I wish you bar the best. I liked his, I liked his game, and I think he gave his all when he's out there, and that's all you can ask. But I didn't think he was 100% effective and um, made some, you know, dumb tackles and some dumb passes at times but he's a u22 player well this is an opportunity until um, the new guy comes in from france for sosa and sosa played tonight against montreal played for 89 minutes and did a pretty good job uh, they put him and sedgic back as um, more of a pivot uh, both of them played defensive and neither would get up the field. There were some slots that they could get up in and get into the offensive attack, but they didn't. They held to the defensive game plan. Sosa had one heck of a great tackle there at the end of the match that um, caused the yellow card for Montreal on a, on a nice slide tackle. So Sosa answered the bell. He stepped up. He played well. And that's what he has to do because a, a player that's been performing better than him got traded because nobody wanted so-so. And he ought to look at that as a, a definite motivator and play better for us when he gets the opportunity because he probably won't see the field much when they get the guy in from France. So I am actually okay with both of these moves, with um, Gutman leaving and Ibarra leaving. Um, it, it really is okay. I wish best for both players. They both hustled and they both gave effort. But um, I don't think they were incredibly effective. And on this squad, after, well, before the Philadelphia match, uh, especially against Red Bull, if your name is not Miles Robinson, Amada, or Yakamakis, I'd get rid of every single one of these dudes and I'd be playing a bunch of twos because at least the twos play hard all the time. And Wiley, I'd keep Wiley. So there's four guys I would keep. Everybody else, I'd be seeing what I could get for him. And that's the way I feel. Uh, I don't think that um, Pineda is getting the most out of his roster and the most out of his players. And that's a whole other conversation about Pineda. And definitely there's a whole other conversation about Boca Negra because he has definitely slaughtered this roster um, and done a real poor job of it.